What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome back to the Relegation League. This week we're taking on Kansas, the only team remaining that we played with in the original save file of the Relegation League. Again, anyone who missed it last episode, I kind of made a big deal about it, I don't know how you forgot, but this is a brand new save file because with college football revamped, New Mexico State and UMass are both gone. So instead of just playing with like glitched out logos and stuff like that, I just started a brand new save file. I gave Kansas a couple of really good freshmen Actually, pretty much a good freshman at every position throughout their roster. So they're only this good overall right now, but in three seasons, they're going to be a 99 overall monster destroying everyone, and hopefully the recruiting classes take shape. However, I brought it up at the end of the last episode, and I gave it some thought, and it, it really is a shame that McMahon won the Heisman last year for New Mexico State and then just no longer exists. So I gave McMahon to Kansas. 99 overall, he's a freshman because they didn't have any upperclassmen really on the roster. So redshirted freshman, so he'll be around for at least two seasons. Maybe he'll declare and just go pro and we won't get run over, but we're going to get run over today. So here's a weapon for you, Kansas. This is sort of like your compensation, like, sorry that I screwed it up. He's going to have a different face because college football revamped. They added a bunch of different faces, removed a bunch of old ones. So he looks different, but trust me, that's the same McMahon who was terrorizing defenses in the Pac-12 last season. However, news much more beneficial to us, low lock is going really well. This was the first week where we could find some people. So obviously it's all dependent on if anyone goes after these people, but who boy, there's some options. Right here at the top of the board, we have Martin Bradford, 81 overall, plus seven gem at defensive end. No matter what we already have on the roster, because I believe we have, what, 271 overall freshmen, they get the best training results I've ever seen, and this guy would still be better and an instant starter for us next year, so hopefully we can bring him aboard. James Ryan, plus seven gem at quarterback. Again, we have Gibson. Gibson's young enough where we can sort of rock with him for a few seasons, but Ryan has 87 speed, 85 excel. Gibson has, like, 67 speed. I mean, you saw us running the ball around a little bit, but Ryan also with a slightly more accurate arm. Uh, he can't carry worth a crap. He's going to fumble the ball a lot, but pretty good elusiveness, pretty good juke move, pretty good spin, break tackle. I mean, this is definitely the kind of quarterback I would rather play with. Todd Wynn, a plus six gem, 90 speed, 90 excel, would probably be the fastest guy on our team. He's a wide receiver. It looks like he could maybe be a free safety, but he wouldn't be a very good one. Uh, pretty good pursuit, pretty good play rec, only 65 tackle. The coverage is eh. I would much rather bring him in and have him be a wide receiver. Probably not a halfback. He'd be a decent halfback, but I'd rather have him be wide receiver. Gerard Williams is a Juco athlete, plus two, 81 overall. So hopefully no one goes after him. Another one who'd be a wide receiver also would be a pretty good running back. He can't play defense at all. So that's, that's unfortunate but I would definitely like to bring him in as well. Melvin Harris, plus five gem, also a Juco, but only a sophomore, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty fast, some good coverage skills, some good tackling. Overall, a really good prospect that we could hopefully bring in, not have to sweat it out, and he would probably also be an instant starter. Then down here, a couple of gems. We got two 77 overall tackles. Copeland's a plus six. Ramzord is a plus five. I mean, bringing both those guys in would be great. We don't need a left tackle, actually. Our left tackle is pretty good, but I'll take a right tackle, and maybe I can slide another one along the line somewhere. Aaron Long, 76 overall halfback, plus two. Not the biggest need in the world for us. We do have a freshman, well, red-shirted freshman running back, but we could just have him sit on the bench and have a backup option because he's not fast or anything like that, but, you know, not someone I mind bringing in. Frank Joseph, plus five gem at DN, 76 overall. He would also probably be an instant starter, or at least he'd be in competition for it. And I'm out of points, but Paul Moreau is someone I want to keep an eye on, also a 76 overall. Michael Haas, 74 overall guard. Mangum, 73 overall freshman safety. And someone like Bobby Green, the 70 overall outside linebacker, probably going to need one of those. Shelton, 75 overall athlete, but I'm pretty sure he's meant to be a quarterback and maybe a running back. I got better prospects for that. And then that's that's pretty much it. It's just all the garbage that we had before down here. I used a lot of points scouting people. I think I only had 11 people left on this board before I added low lock. So we're going to get a lot of points back next week to hopefully throw even more points at people. I Down here, I do want to get my hands on other wide receivers, but the athletes are much better than like a James Watkins here. But maybe, you know, further on down the road, if we get some points to spare, we can go after these guys instead. 
First game today will be against Kansas. Uh, this will be back to being a doubleheader. And then after this, we're going to be playing uh, Louisiana. I don't know why they're on my schedule. I think it was just the computer suggested it and I couldn't find another replacement. So we're just going to be playing Louisiana, who was ranked in the top 25. If they don't lose, they will still be there. So a couple of tough games for us today. Oh, it's great to be back here at Generic Memorial Stadium. Yeah, I'm still making that joke three years later. Good catch. Pretty good run. And halfback dive gets it done. Oh, I was waiting for R1 to run up. He just stood there and watched. Like, I'm running. I'm like, okay, he'll start running up now. He'll start running up now. He didn't. I wanted to test him. Oh, well. First interception on the season. Okay, well, luckily they kept McMahon in the block. Unfortunately, I also gave him 99 for his blocking skills. So, <laughs> he'll still be a factor that way. Screen. I read it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice try, McMahon. Oh, that's my boy Jason Bean starting. Who I just made fun of. Oh, I forgot to update the the def chart when I modified the roster. Okay, I'm going to have to try and fix that. Oh. Ooh, well, I mean, you laid out McBride at least. I was a spy, but uh, Bean is fast. Might not throw the ball great, but he can run it. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. We had a pretty good read on that one. I mean, again, I made a bunch of players freshmen. I didn't make anyone better than, say, like an 82 overall outside of McMahon. So they will eventually be good. But right now, they're still, you know, it's McMahon and a bunch of mediocrity. And okay. Kwame Lassiter, the second. Oh, again, holy crap, I'm getting old when players that I watched growing up are... Their kids are in here. It's out of control. Mm. Oh, well, okay. There's McMahon in the touchdown. Kind of figured that would happen sooner. Oh, right, I made their kicker and punter 99 overalls. Well, 99 power, 99 accuracy. So they're going to be booming these all day. that I mean if I had pitched that it would have been a fumble Ooh, that blitz okay let's see if this will work on you oh my god well thank god he just batted it that was incredibly inaccurate also you're gonna see a lot of players with the same face there is only one player model with dreadlocks now in this entire game so anyone who's meant to have dreadlocks is gonna look the same Ah, well. Yep, we're crashing right back down to earth today. Oh, that was a terrible kick. That was terrible coverage. Oh, thank God he stepped out of bounds, though. Whoa, okay, well. McMahon again doing what he does best. Scoring touchdowns in different ways. Good blocks, but I ran into the blocker. I put Williams at kick returner because he's just the best option. And we don't really rely on our running back too, too much. At least not in the early goings. Good blocks. Good job. 10-yard run. Good catch by Yarmo. Great name for Yarmo, too. Ah... Oh. I had a receiver running up. I scrambled way too far back, though. Well, let's see if we can get Williams Jr. on this. Yeah, there we go. All right, third and six. And Scipio, 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 whatever. Timmy with the catch. Old 
blocks. Gibson slide. Kind of slid. Triple option goes to Schulte. And he's picking up five. And, oh, that guy got... Man, I thought we beat him. I thought he was going to go too far back. And he wasn't going to expect that break. Oh, well. Ooh, nice snag by Williams. That cornerback was keeping an eye on me, so I thought I could get Williams wide open, and he still managed to get his hands on it. And Bryant not in. If that was Williams, it would have been a touchdown. Oh, we're draining this clock, too. I didn't even realize. There we go. Williams in for a touchdown. Out of curiosity, let's see what the computer does. Throw away. 15 yards to Lassiter. 12 yards to Lassiter. 12 yards to Arnold. 11 to Lassiter. They're just going to... Okay. There's an incompletion. A throw away. And a 25-yarder Wilson for a touchdown. That's about how it would have gone if we played it too. Okay. So if I learned anything, it's take Qualls and put him on a streak. And see what happens. Throw it up. We don't have the arm strength to get it all the way down the field, but... Um, oh, Scipio almost had it. Timmy almost with the deflection. I mean, it would have been a tackle anyways, but oh well. Going to the halftime. Yeah, this is more like it. Down 21-7 to Kansas. We had a fourth and two. They were going for it, and we got called for a five-yard penalty. Wasting that TFL we got on McMahon. They really just don't want to score, huh? I'm going to try and go for one shot here. I'm not liking my chances. Oh, that was a beautiful throw, though. I don't know what that route he was running was, but somehow that throw on the run was, like, perfect. That's like Aaron Rodgers levels right there. Here comes that blitz I wanted before. And there it goes. See, the beauty of that play is... If I see the blitz coming, that means I'm going to have a linebacker lined up on my halfback, so we're going to win the speed advantage. He's running in a straight line, so I don't have to worry about the route running. And if they go into a zone and that linebacker drifts away, we got a wide open window where even if it's hugely inaccurate, it's only going to hit the ground. Uh, this is why, like, you see how that run went. We got one yard. We had a complete open path to the end zone. If I had that prospect... That could have been, I don't know about a touchdown. That would have been a big conversion, like a big gain. I am scared to run. You know, I'm going to put Williams on a slant. Play action scare me. But that worked. And he's down injured. His first catch today and he hurt himself. What is funny, if this was the original Ross, like the original Dynasty file, there would still be players on Kansas that we recruited. Because we only went through New Mexico in three seasons. Uh-oh. Well, that's both Williams Jr.'s going down injured now. But let's we'll get the first ones back out there. He only bruised his hand. I thought he'd be out for a couple more plays. I guess he just missed one. No, okay, never mind. If R1 had kept running, there was no one in that corner. I absolutely have to go for this here. Strain Peck will return soon. Yeah, well, that's not now. Slide protection to the left. And Bryant, okay, he does waltz in. Like, I was seeing the thing popping up. It's like, oh, this guy's out injured. Do you want to replace him with the halfback? That's when I realized that there's a 12-point difference between my starter and my backup. So that that's probably a problem. Oh, Grim with the big catch. Okay. McMahon's not killing us, though. Like, he's 5-6 and six is pretty much where he's at. He's not, like, busting. There's an 8. They scored a touchdown. But he's not gashing us for, like, 45 yarders or anything. There we go. Thank you, Scipio. Ooh, I might be able to get someone. I could not. Getting speed would be helpful right there. Oh, that one, uh... I bolted that, and it kind of hung in the air. There's where the weak throw power comes into play. Oh, 
Oh, I got deflected for a pick. At least it wasn't a pick six, but that's ball game. Well, the computer did manage to get one more touchdown drive done, but McMahon, player of the game, not, I mean, I've gotten better stat lines with him. Come on. Final stats, Gibson, 17-29, 259 yards, one touchdown, two picks, three sacks. Definitely coming down back to earth. Rushing, uh, Williams had 24 yards and a touchdown. Brian had a touchdown, too. Williams with five catches, 66 yards. Name at four for 100 and a touchdown. That was on the sim. Uh, Scipio had two for 40. That was pretty cool. Arzlanian getting 11 tackles, though. He, he carried us. I mean, it, it didn't help all the way. Three TFLs, no sacks, no picks, no deflections, no nothing else. All right, well, that stinks, and we're going to go play a better team now. Yay! All right, this will be our home debut. We're taking on the Rage and Cajuns. They aren't actually significantly better than Kansas, looking at it from here. They're better, but not, not as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, as far as recruiting goes, everyone we went after were on their board. No one really broke away, so... They all got the 500 points. I got offered them all scholarships. Oh, and even though we lost last week, we did manage to level up. We hit level four. So I got another 500 points. So I'm going after all three of those defensive linemen, plus that 74 overall guard. Uh, if it goes well, if we can sign all of them, man, we are all set. Good to see we're rocking the absolute worst rushing offense in all of NCAA. Again, we're only on five minute quarters. So like the defensive numbers are gonna look better than they actually are. But even on five-minute quarters, we're still 75th in points. Oh, I forgot to switch the jerseys, so we're in Nevada today. Come on, Williams. He's still up. There we go. Slide. Good run, Gibson. Iowa State is number four in the entire country, but because of my silly little video series, uh, they are playing in Conference USA. So probably a clear march to the national championship for them. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the college football playoff. You have that tool that you can add on and modify your dynasty and add the college football playoff with college football revamped. I'm not sure that I'm going to catch blunt. Accurate pass. I'm not sure that I'm going to do that for the relegation league. I guess I'll look at it. It might make things a little too easy, but also more difficult because we have to play, you know, one or two extra games. If I did it for the relegation league, I'd only do the four-team playoff. I wouldn't bother with the full eight-team that you can do because I don't want group of five schools to just, like, get in there. That sort of defeats the purpose of being in a group of five in this series. Ouch. Oh, my God. These screen passes are not working. So I get for talking, too. I wasn't paying attention. I just called two screens in a row. Okay, well... I'll try that field goal. Coach is saying punt it. I'm going to go for a field goal. 52-yarder. Let's test. Let's see how good this kicker is. Not quite max power. Close. Close. So we can make a 45-yarder with this guy. Easy. That's not bad. And he's only a sophomore, right? Or is he the freshman? Thank you. Ooh. I'm like, oh, there's a quick out. They're going to get that. No. Oh my god. I don't know where that guy came from. He just came flying in and snatched that. Oh, Gibson, what a nasty spin move. That's not fair. Oh, that guy tried to dive. Come on, Qualls. Two guys on that D tackle, and he went right through them. Go on our... Oh, we overthrew him. If it was accurate, it would have been a touchdown. Coach wants to go for this. I can make the field goal, but you know what, Coach? If you want to go for it, then I want to go for it, too. Good catch, name. Good catch. Oh, well, luckily, they can't intercept it. Cato Nelson back out here. Oh, good. We scrambled, and our quarterback got hurt again. High risk for re-injury. You, you can stay out, bud. It's all right. We'll let Nelson try and hit Blunt in the back of the end zone. There comes that blitz on that side, though. Woo! If we had some accuracy, that was a touchdown. I'm going to take the field goal this time. Ah, crap. 
For a second there, I forgot that which way I flicked the analog stick will change the direction even after I line it up. That's what happened. Oh, he's taking off. I didn't have a spy because we were blitzing. Ooh, nice job. Nice job. Uh, Scott, you want to cover the running back because no one is? Never mind. Nope. Oh my god, he just... Okay. Ooh, and uh, that one just sort of floated. Cool. Fourth down. All right, not a bad punt. Pinned us at the 18. Not pinned all the way back, but still, that's pretty good. Oh, Bryant with that little bit of speed. Nice run for the 63 overall halfback. Over the head. Good catch, Scipio. He's, he's turning into my favorite. The early front runner for the Sean Gaddy Award. Just because I like saying his name, even though I'm probably mispronouncing it. I have to go four for just to get in the shotgun and get away from the blitz on this one. Oh, they went real aggressive. And they tried to strip the ball, too. Thank you for holding on to that. Thank you, conservative carry. Third and two. Oh. I realized at the last second I should not have thrown that. Gotta trust my halfback dive. Come on. There we go. Barely picks it up, but he gets it. Oh, he actually fell forward and got some more. I thought he barely eked it out, but he picked up five. Oh my god, Qualls walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Finally, we put the first score up in the game with two minutes to go in the half, and we're going to take the first lead. Oh, but don't you worry, because we missed the kick. So, if you thought things were going well for us, don't worry. We fixed it. And the defense will be sure to fix it, too. And he gets out of bounds, so they're going to stop the clock. Woo! He got rid of that in a hurry. Oh, there's that garbage out. Swallowing him up. Oh, they're going to start chewing clock here, huh? I'll call a timeout. Thank you! And a fumble. Oh my god, I'm glad I called the timeout. Cy picking it up. He's going! Come on, big man! All the way down to the 30, and that's why I called that timeout. Cy having himself a day in the wrong jersey. Oh, I didn't even call the timeout. ULL took that one. 52 seconds, all three timeouts. I'm going to just do this. Screenplay still a bit. Oh, wait. No, he cut it up. Thank you, Williams. Oh, I had R1, but it was just not the best. Oh, okay. I was going to die for it. He pushed me out of bounds. Three men on the line? Really? All right. Thanks. That came out of nowhere, but we're going to the halftime up 13-0 on Louisiana. Good cut, Williams. Okay. I mean, not fast enough. Come on, Scipio. Beautiful. Ooh, Qualls. He snatched that right in front of that corner. He had no idea what was going on. Oh, well, there's a flag down. Who's it on? Yep. That's about right. Thanks, Beckman. That's why I'm recruiting your replacement. Ooh, name got back up. I didn't I think it gained him like half a yard, but still second and eleven is a much better idea. No one on blunt and an accurate pass. Perfect. Third and four. I'm okay just keeping it on the ground, putting some points up. Yeah, I, I mean, theoretically, I should have pitched it, but he was right on top of me. Um, you know what? The giant kangaroo is not on this side. It's, it's a sign. It's a good sign that we can convert this. See? Look at that run. Picking up eight. It's the giant kangaroo. It scares us. We can only run this way. Okay, I was going to go with the read option, but they're stacking the line on that side. 
So I might as well just go with halfback dive, slide the protection. And a giant gaping hole. Easy touchdown. That was much better than taking a field goal. And coach wants to go for two. Am I going to run halfback dive again? No. But I'll do that. The other Williams Jr. converting. 21-7 lead. Ah, uh, they just returned a kick for 97 yards. Cool. I just get the ball back faster to kill clock. That's how I look at it. I want to kill clock, but that looks like a blitz coming. It was, but it was well defended. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have triangle. I was already past the line of scrimmage. I just hurtled for no reason. Thank you for not fumbling it. Oh my God, is this screen pass going to work? Oh my God, I think it is. Nine yards. That's considered working for us. Uh, Agnenovich? I have no idea how you caught that. Also, ignore what I said earlier about Iowa, uh, Iowa State. They are getting smoked now by TCU. Coach wants to keep passing it here, but I'm fine to, you know, can just run the ball, pick up, you know, three or four yards at a shot, kill the clock, keep ourselves in position to score. Like, that's fine. Three yards. Name has elbow bursitis now. That's what I get for passing the ball more than twice. Oh, that... That was a mistake. But the upside with name being out is we get more Scipio. Oof. And an accurate pass. Gibson, he was shook. He's like, I got my receivers killed. I can't do it. And just like that, two minutes left. They have the ball. And we didn't put any points up. Okay, we could not cover that tight end. To Lumpkin. The draw play... Scott comes diving in because I just held down square the whole time. So eventually he found his way. He went to take off and we're going to take him down for a sack. Oh, that's a big one. I don't know why they're not taking their time out or anything. It's at this point that I realized that I redshirted all my cornerbacks. That's why we can't cover. Fear the kangaroo. Fear it. You don't want to go near that. Stay away from them. See, they feared it. No, stay away from the kangaroo. All right, well, it's fourth down at least. Come on. Oh, I had a read on it, Scott. He gets the TFL. That'll be a turnover on downs. And we're just a couple knees away from victory number two. Another ESPN Classic game for us, but a really, really tight contest. Definitely punching up, but we do come away with the win. So that's 1-0 at home. That's good enough for me. Final stats, Gibson. 16-22, 194 yards, a touchdown, and a sack. Nelson actually completed a pass. It only went for four yards, but he did it. Gibson, 59 yards on the ground for him. Williams at 43, two touchdowns, taking home player of the game. 32 yards on five catches for Williams. Qualls at 3 for 41, a touchdown. Name, 3 for 29. Scipio at 2 for 38, but they looked pretty. And Blunt, 2 for 46. Fan Jr. led the team with five tackles, but three TFLs, the first two sacks for the season for us. And then Scott, Cy, Gary are also getting TFLs. One of those sacks for Fan was a forced fumble, scooped up by Cy, brought back for 26. 305 pound defensive tackle running that back. Great job, bud. But that will wrap this one up. Next episode, hopefully I'll have some more for you guys for recruiting. We'll be taking on Bowling Green and we'll be easing into the easier part of our schedule. We're also going to be taking on North Texas in the second part of that one because North Texas got some new uniforms and they are pretty. But you'll see that next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.